Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. We are doing it today. Finally, the M16. Oh boy, we've got two to look at. The M16A1 with the triangle style grip on the front. Oh, classic home SMG rifle, assault rifle M16A1. Of course, we are chambered in 5.56 by 45 NATO and we take Stanag magazines, which gives us a lot of variety. We also have another M16. We've got the M16A4 with rails. Now we've got a modern version with rails, still fully automatic. Oh, so good. So much stuff to look at. We've got handle sights to put on it. Well, not on that one. <laughs> you can put it on that one though. Classic look to it. Oh, so much good stuff. Let's not waste any more time. Let's check them out. Let's start by looking at the controls on the M16. Typical AR-15 style controls here. <laughs> Here's our magazine. Here's our magazine well. No problem. Takes NATO Stanag 5.56x45 magazines. Here's our dust cover. You can click on the dust cover and open it manually if you so wish. Or if you pull back on the charging handle, it will open automatically. There you go, jacks on the right side, charging handle down the middle. Left on the trackpad is our fire selector switch. We've got safe, semi, and full auto. This is the M16A1, by the way, just in case I forgot to mention that, which I think I did. Ooh, high rate of fire. It will lock open on empty. Down on the trackpad will eject the magazine. Put a new one in. Up on the trackpad will release the bolt, or you can press the bolt release button, which is right there on this side. There, it closed. And I think if you hold right on the trackpad, it will hold the bolt open. And I believe it, maybe if you touch this one, no. Nah. Ah, uh, well, close enough. I think it just pokes through and touches this on the other side, to be honest. But I think it's on the left side mainly. But that works too. What else we got? We got forward assist does nothing in H3. Just to let you know that, it's just cosmetic. Stock is solid. Does not fold, does not collapse. Does not have a secret compartment in there. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Oh, got a wibbly bit. Got a wibbly bit there. there. All right. Moving on to the M16A4. Same deal, but with more rails. So here's our magazine. Here's our magazine. Well, chambered in 556 by 45 NATO. Center line charging handle pull back. Opens the dust cover, release, grabs a new round. Down on the trackpad will eject the magazine, which is nice. Right on the trackpad will hold the bolt back if you so desire. Up on the trackpad will release the bolt like that. And it's got a bolt release button right there. You don't have to click anything, just move your controller right next to that and it'll close like that. The stock is solid, does not collapse, does not fold. Does not fold, spindle, or mutilate. Uh, what else we got on this guy? Got a wibbly bit up front. That's important. And wibbly bit. Oh, no, the back bit does not wibble. A non-wibbling back bit. Our selector switch is here with left on the trackpad, but we switch between safe, semi, and burst. It's a three round burst. So one pull of the trigger gets you three, and then it goes back to safe. There is no full auto for the A4. Boo! Uh, can you do tactical reloads with the M16? Can you knock the magazine out with the physics object? No. No. Can you press the button and do it that way? No. So, just gotta press down on the trackpad and do it that way. That works fine. How about the A4? Let's see if the A4 has got anything. No, not looking good there. Let's see if I can get up in there and get up in there and try it out. There you go. Problem solved. Freaking H3. Let's talk attachments starting with the A1. All right. Well, there are no rails. We are way before rails on this guy, but what can we put on the barrel? All right. Muzzle brake. Yes, muzzle brake will go. Suppressor. Suppressor will go way out there. Rail extension will go. How about the rail adapter? Okay, you can get rails on it that way. The all-important battle spatula. Yes, battle spatula will go. Yay! It's already got a stock. You don't need that. And the M9 bayonet will go. 
on the M16. That's the one you want. Click here to get it off of there like that. We're not done with attachments. We've got the M203 grenade launcher. This is the classic model. Will this go? Yes, it will go. Classic will go. It goes on the M4 and goes on the M16 as well. This is the Picatinny rail version. This will not go, but guess where it will go? Moving on to the M4. Let's see what attachments will go on this guy. I see a lot of rails. Got a top rail, got a little break there, and then got a long, look at that rail. Oh, it goes all the way out there. Got a left rail that's huge as well, and a right rail that's equally huge, and a bottom rail that goes all the way from the magazine well out to the front sight. Wow. Rails, rails, and more rails. How about the barrel? What will go on there? Muzzle brake will go. Suppressor will go. Barrel extension will go. Rail adapter unnecessary will go. Battle spatula. Yeah, you better go on there. Ha 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 ha. Stock already got a stock. M9 bayonet. Yes, M9 bayonet will also go on this guy. Fantastic. Okay. 203 classic grenade launcher. No. Picatinny rail launcher. Yes. So there you go. You got your grenade launcher that way. Told you it would go on something. Let's look at the sights, starting again with the A1. Let's look at our iron sights. Now, we've got this lovely little carry handle with an aperture in the rear. Is it adjustable? Yes. So you've got the wider aperture as default and a small aperture. If you click on it, ooh, that is small. All right, let's stick with the wide one for H3. All right, so again, you've got the straight up and down front post with the little wings on it. As a protector wing, so you got vertical stuff. You got to match it up with a round aperture. It's a little odd, but hey, okay, not too bad. But we can do better. There's a lot to choose from here. Okay, so let's start with. This is the M16A4 handle sight. Now, can you replace? Oh, you can't replace the handle sight with another handle sight. How about this handle sight? No, you are stuck with that handle sight. So you can't put any additional irons on there. Trying to glue it on there real hard. Can you put, this is the M145. No, that does not attach to the handle. Yeah, see, it's got a little spot to attach stuff, but I forget which one attaches there. The ACOG does not go, boo. That's a pick rail. That ain't gonna go. Okay, which one is this? Yes, this one goes. All right. I forget which of these. This is the ART scope. Now you've got magnified optics. Let's take a look. Okay, it gets up over the front sight. Uh, unfortunately, it does obscure the iron sights. That is a bummer. Get that pin out of there, turkeys. That would have worked otherwise. That's a bummer. All right, so we got this magnified iron. There we go. Ooh, far and low. Where am I firing here? That post does make it hard for me to see where I'm hitting. Okay, well, that's an option. Oh, actually, let me check the magnification there. So we've got 6, 9, 12, 18, 24. Whoa, yeah, that's a little much. Okay, <laughs> let's go back to 6. I'm hitting left and right on the trackpad, by the way. And you can go up on the trackpad and change the zero. You can change the windage, the elevation. So this is a sophisticated sight for your M16, if I can get it off there. Which one is the this one as well? Aha, this is your oh, 3x20. Okay, now we're talking the M16 3x20 sight. <laughs> okay. Ah, much nicer for what I'm trying to do. Uh, still hits really low. That's a little disappointing. I gotta like touch the top of the eight ring. But I can do it. Change the base zero from 100 out to 500. Yeah, but you get single magnification. So that's your M16A1 options for sights. Moving on to the A4. Now, as you can see, we've got a giant front post going on there, but nothing on the rear. So what are we to do? Well, we've got some handle sights to work with. This is the M16 A4 handle sight. I suppose this is gonna work. 
Let's see how that looks on there. All right, now we've got basically a similar setup to the original M16. Let's see if this adjusts. Yes, you've got a smaller aperture as an option. There we go. I like this big one, thank you very much. All right, let's see. Whoa, hello. Didn't. Yeah, sometimes these sights do not, they do not let go easily. Okay, let's try the M4 handle sight. Let's see if this is actually properly zeroed for this guy. Oh, big rear aperture. That looks zeroed. Fantastic. Let's check out the small. Oh my god, that's a small aperture. I can't find that front sight. So part of the problem is that the left and, and right leaves on there, the protective leaves, look the same as that front sight. So I would not recommend using the smaller aperture on here. Let's see what else we've got. This is the A2 front sight. So normally comes in two pieces like this, but since we already got that front sight and we can't get rid of it, we are going to get rid of that. We're going to make that damn suppressor stop rolling. Let's see if this is zeroed. Mm, not quite. Yeah, see these don't quite work. Let's see if the adjustment helps us. No, not so much. So I wouldn't recommend these. And yes, we can double up. We can put the M4, excuse me, the A4 handle sight on here, the one that goes with this, and it'll accept those M16A1 special sights. So we can get these on an M16 with reels. So that's a nice little option for us. Can this one go? Yeah, look at that. Oh, nice. That's pretty crispy. Are we done yet? No, the M4. M one four five that'll go on there because it's a pick rail oh my gosh but you can see the front sight in the picture there so that might not be the best option how about the ACOG yeah now we're talking does it get over the front sight just a bit yeah it will helps if I have some bullets in the gun there we go and does the tube on the bottom work well not really because it's blocked by that front sight so that ain't gonna work and of course, a monster game point red dot. Tell me you haven't seen that in every video game. All right, that's enough of that. Recoil test. 30 rounds of 556 by 45 NATO full automatic. Here we go. Wow, that is a high rate of fire, but not a very good result. 7.7 .7 average. Little disappointing. Oh, all the way out to the six. Ugh, not great. Let's try it with the muzzle brake. Oh, floaty. Floaty, floaty. Did get a nine average, though, but it floated out, floated back. Yeah, see, it's floaty. It's crisping, crossing. Nine average. Still, better than without it. And on to the suppressor. Hmm, immediately popped up to the right and then drifted over there again. It's bouncy, 753 average. That's uh, okay, but I was hoping for better. On to the A4, and we got only burst mode, so I'm going to try my best here pulling the trigger as fast as I can. Let's see what we can get. Ooh, really drifty. 8.6 average is not that bad, though. Uh, yeah, never really quite drifted back into the 10 ring, but we did get back into the 9 ring, so... Ah, mixed bag! It's okay. Let's try it with a muzzle brake. Ah, worked pretty well. Maybe a little too well. 9.3. It was kind of pushing it down. Yeah, right about here, it was pushing it down a little too much. So I think with just a tiniest bit of delay in between these bursts, you're going to get even better than 9.3. So that muzzle brake definitely helps. And finally, with the suppressor. Drifty, 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 nine average. So, got out to the seven ring. Yeah, out to the seven ring. Not too shabby. 
There you have it, the M16, A1 and A4, one fully automatic, one three round burst, one with the big triangle handguard, one with a lot of rails on it. Take your pick. Till next time, I will see ya. Do these properly, shall we? Oh, where's the sight? Yeah, I wouldn't call it bad recoil. <laughs> 942 average. I don't understand this game. Ah, oh, maybe it's because I was trying. All right. Let's give it a new one here. Let's, let's give it everything it's got. six yeah I like the first one a little better but I wish I had the rails uh, do one more test with the uh, m16a1 since it did so well with the drum I swear I swear these things do better with drums in them than with just 30 rounders oh well <laughs>